Ask for what you want, take what you get, and use what you get to get what you want. That was probably the best piece of advice that I got from my, um, that I ever received in my early life. I got, I got that from my granddad, and it took me years to really understand what that means because most people, I think, this is just a thought of the day, operate on this sense that they don't even deserve what they want to ask for. So they never ask. And they instead trust to what limited resources they have and only really make it so far in life. You don't ask, you don't get, you don't, if you don't ask, you don't get. You hear people say that, say that all the time. But I think it's a lot of these self-limiting beliefs and an understatement and underestimate of our own power and potential that stops us from really achieving our own full potential. More, more, more so, especially I find um, in in guys because the lack of proper father figures, and this is just a morning thought, the lack of proper role models, I would say, is one of the main reasons why we see so many men wasting their lives these days. They're waiting for someone to tell them that it's okay to go out and do what they absolutely want to do. They're waiting for someone to tell them to basically say it's safe to go and do what you want to do because that was traditionally the role of the father, the role of the male role model is to say, like, look, Simba, like, this is, this is the land where we tread and over there is South London and you do not go <laughs> to South London. And over there is the places where you don't tread and traditionally that was the role of the man. So you find a lot of guys, including myself, drag our feet in all of things and um, it's only now as I get slightly older that, that I realize that if I was to turn back the clock by five years the, the one of the main pieces of advice that I'd give myself if I was to give myself advice in the first place because I don't really believe in that I think you're meant to make those mistakes but one of the first pieces of advice I would say is take more risks and you are safe to take risks anyway what's up guys Shuman here welcome back to another video so today <clears throat> is no fab day I think it's about 65 66 and um, it's the countdown, the countdown, the two week, the 20 day countdown. Oh wait, no, it's past 20 days. Yeah, welcome to the 20 day countdown to 90. So this is gonna be the second time that I actually reached 90. And today I wanted to talk a bit about a subject that I had started talking about last video, whereby I was talking about, um, well, actually that was the no one, that, that was the no one wants you to be free. But the one before that was, uh, would, would men and women interact if not for sex? And I wanted to expand that by asking, by having a little thought experiment, now, some of us have watched Rick and Morty, and if you haven't watched it, it's a hilarious show. On one of the shows, they had an episode whereby uh, Rick and Morty, they went to a planet that was filled with aliens, and it turns out these, these aliens were exiled men, and they were exiled by the women, and they went to this, these, to this female planet, and it was just interesting, I won't try and ruin, ruin that much. Um, <clears throat> and it, 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 it really got me thinking, what would happen if men and women were a totally different like literally like men are from Mars and women are from Venus they look the same they talk the same but they'd all come from either all male and all female you know civilizations what if they what would happen if they were to make first contact and as I started to think about this I, I realized that it really did highlight a lot of the difficulties that men and women have really interacting with each other and also links back into my past video where, where I said that basically if not for sex there really wouldn't be that much interaction at all between men and women in fact there may even be conflict and that's what I, what I wanted to brainstorm because it's far too cold outside guys uh, what would happen then if men and women were to land and they were a different species altogether and they were to meet each other so the first thing that I would say that, 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 that they would notice, and this is just a sort of hypothesis, is how the, the indirectness of communication between the two, because they haven't landed yet, so one ship meets another. So the female ship will probably be the last one to hell, and the, the man ship would probably be the first one to hell, because men are generally more direct. So what you would find is, is that the men would probably open up like instant communication and be like, state your name, state your business, are you friend, are you foe, who are you? And they just try to sort of ascertain the situation because that's what men do. And uh, men, they're a lot more direct in almost all things that they do. And they really don't have time for a lot of the going around the edges and sort of skating around the edges, which is exactly what the female ship would do. So the female ship most likely wouldn't actually try to establish communication. They'd probably wait and see, you know, see what they would do if they're friendly or foe. Whereas the guy would be like, you know, straight in, what is, what, what is the situation? So they would agree to land. 
and that's when they would see each other for the first time. So for this example, there aren't actually, there, there's going to be no sexual attraction because if you have sexual attraction, it sort of just messes up the whole thing and it doesn't really sort of go with the theme and uh, there's no sexual attraction. And again, I think what you would find is that the man would be the first one to initiate the greetings. It will be, they will be a lot more direct, assuming that they don't see that they don't raise weapons at each other, which I guess the women would be more likely to be a bit more aware, whereas the men, they'd probably see them as physically less intimidating. I mean, maybe they, 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 have, they have the same level of, they have the same level of you know technology but they'd see them as less intimidating so they'd most likely be the first one to initiate they'd also find it i think the moon would find it extremely odd and extremely weird why and how men would the men would be so direct and so you know straight into the point even to the point where they'd most likely find it you know they would find them to be a bit more sort of like brutish whereby they'd be like oh yeah no um these 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 primitives why do they state their name and all this other stuff and don't don't they know don't are they sophisticated don't they know about the you know the all the nuances of you know of you know conversation so i think this would become apparent as they first start to start start uh, start to communicate each other and let's just say that they have these devices so that they can sort of under they're, they're basically both they were speaking the same language they can sort of understand each other um the first thing that the man would notice is how indirect the woman would be how they keep sometimes dodging questions how they would be they would sometimes you know not be straightforward and i think the man would act, would honestly find that very untrustworthy now you see this a lot in the whole migtai community and a lot of the red pill or I would say black pill men who understand who get who get boned by women and get totally taken to the cleaners then they start getting on the forums and saying oh how you know why they're saying this why they're saying that they shouldn't be saying this and you know why why, why aren't they straightforward women are so manipulative this that and the other and we would see that played out in the actual interaction whereby the men would they'd be like you know internally messaging each other like hey we can't trust these people why because they, 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 they they've got something to hide I think the male race would find would find would, would think that the women would have would have a lot more to hide and i think this would rapidly degenerate up until the point whereby the women would start to see the men getting a bit more agitated that is when they would use ways of manipulating the situation because again they haven't met each other before so men don't understand how they work they would use their ability to sort of calm down the men and sort of be like, that's okay, you know, we're harmless, it's all right, fine, you know, we can't, you know, it's best for our own personal interest if we let them think that we're on the same primitive level. So let's just, you know, try and interact as if everything's fine. I mentioned, you may see, you may see a very similar theme and it's a theme that I have through a lot of my videos is that the reason why I don't allow, allow, allow myself, and I really do need to do a, a better video on this, why I don't really put MGTOW in front of a lot of my videos anymore because I don't really consider myself to be a MGTOW anymore. I, I consider myself to be what's called a red pill male. That is to say a guy who understands female nature and understands female psychology and doesn't, well, you know, and upon learning this improves his ability to interact with not only, you know, himself, but also women as well. Because when you actually understand female psychology, it also, you learn a lot about your own psychology as well. And you'd also realize that you don't, you, you also think that you shouldn't hate them, which is the exact thing that is not going to happen in this scenario, because the man would be like, what the fuck? We can't understand this. You know, they are, they're, they're, they're very, you know, that there's a weird sort of lack of communication. They're not straightforward. So there, there'd be something always in the back of the man's mind that they want something from us. And that's exactly what, what, what the women would prop, would most likely be here. I, I believe that the women would be, that the female um, race would be far more likely to try and find out what sort, what, what the strength of the male fleet was. Every, they, they would, they'd want to know all about the, as you know, as you know, they you know, what their culture was, you know, how they would speak. They would ask far more personal questions. They'd be far more into, you know, the individual soldier or the or the ambassador, and they'd be less less likely to do what the men would do. Would be like, what's your fleet disposition? How many planets do you have? How many guns do you have pointed at us? And all and you know all sorts of stuff. And I think the women would be far more likely to open up and talk about, you know, trade negotiations and you know trying to ascertain what sort of resources we could accrue without sort of hostility, even to the use of even using more manipulative tactics to actually get that now these uh, you know men although they may seem uh, un, you know uncivilized in, in in the first case is because evolutionarily speaking we needed to be more direct we needed to be more straightforward we, we needed to ascertain you know what was up right now we we didn't have need for manipulation because if a charging bear is running at you you know you need to know what to do straight then and there you know you, you don't think oh can i can i can i you know make the bear a fucking cup of tea you know so now i personally think in this scenario that the situation would actually get a lot worse 
because, like I said before in my previous video, um, like, if not for sex, the chances are men and women would not interact. That's because men find it, men and women, uh, there's a reason why, you know, there's a very popular book, Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus. It's almost like we're on completely different planets, and the only thing that, that really links us together is reproduction. If not for that, chances are we would not talk to each other. And again, in this scenario, if both races were to actually meet each other, the men would, 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 would basically find it extremely frustrating to try and interact with this race and try to, you know, you know, you know, strengthen relations with this race that is so not straightforward. Now again, they're the exact same level of technology. I believe that if not for, again, trade, because let's just say that they both have equal empires, if they have equal empires, then they'd probably keep, the, keep them at arm's length and say, okay, you can trade with us from all the way over there, but you are not allowed on our territory. We will trade, but you do not have military access. It's the Laris reference. Or any sort of, um, you know, or, or sort of any sort of intro to our society. And it's very, very unfortunate, but that's just sort of the way things are. Now, on back to the real world, we, we find that uh, intergender relations are at an all-time low and again I that's for a multitude of reasons one because of feminism and because of all sorts of other stuff and two because of a top-down you know corruption of the um, of the he uh, men and women interpersonal you know synergy that has gone on for hundreds of years it's being sabotaged from all different all different levels deliberately so what we're seeing is that it's sort of breaking down so I think when we really when we really think about it um, Men and women, we're not different races. We're the same race. We're not living on different planets. We are living on the same planet. And I truly believe that the best way for us to move forward is to understand each other and is to understand the situation that is going on right now with our society. It is not to, I believe, I do not believe in totally checking out the game. I think it is useful to a certain extent and it is very useful for personal development. And honestly, it is your choice. But as a person who wants to, you know, move on in the world and sort of see the human race continued, I believe that we need to sort out this gender disparity that means sorting out and un, un, un brainwashing all the feminists who have somehow believed that they are not that, that they can according to obama do everything better than guys you know and and we need to unpick all the propaganda that we that we're seeing from all different you know news journals you know the you know the the bbc and feminist press that's the brainwashing men and women to be at loggerheads with each other because for hundreds of years we weren't ever actually like this and it's only now that you know things are taking off and all these political movements are springing up thanks to george soros that we're now seeing all of this crazy discord and sort of you know whatever so anyway that's all going to say for today it is currently no fat day 65 i hope the topic was interesting i have a quick announcement as well, um, I have opened up a Patreon, and I'll be making a video about that on Sunday. This is, for, this is for both of my channels, whereby people can, you know, request and they can go through all that stuff. Because, like I said, like I said at the beginning, ask for what you want, take what you get, and use what you get to get what you want. So it's time for me to follow my own advice. Free one out, and peace.